there was a movie called Silent Running. A space convoy on a strange voyage. It was an Armageddon-type scenario. The world had become uninhabitable and all the plants and animals that were stored in these domes out in space. I just knew I was going to do something that was connected to that movie. I was totally taken. commercial service. Biosphere 2 was so ahead of its time, it was very difficult to explain what we were doing. There were some drawings, and I carried a postcard around in my back pocket. So if I was at a party and someone asked me what I did, I would say, I'm helping, t I'm helping build this. It's going to be completely closed to the outside atmosphere, and I'm going to live inside it for two years with seven other people. We must commit ourselves anew to a sustained program of manned exploration of the solar system, and yes, the permanent settlement of space. As far as I'm concerned, it's man's destiny to go into space. The media expectations were really high, and it was to a large extent our fault, because we had promoted the idea that we were going to go in and it was going to work. For all intents and purposes, nothing material comes in, nothing material goes out. We would be able to create an atmosphere that people could live in for two years, to grow all of our own food for two years, and to do what we said we were going to do. We wanted to pack as many different organisms in there as we possibly could with the full knowledge that not all of them would survive. It was such a wonderful group of people working towards a common goal and a goal that I really had as well, which is to learn about the Earth. I don't think anything could have really prepared us for those two years inside Biosphere 2. I didn't have an illusion that we were entering utopia. Paradise in terms of the living systems, it was very beautiful. But I knew that there would be problems with us human beings. Imagine that you were shut inside with your immediate family members for two years and you didn't get to see anybody else and you just had to be with them night and day. <laughs> There were some mean times. People did not talk to each other. It very much was um, a split of two groups. The main chasm between us was the different ideas of how we would manage the biosphere. Most of us were hungry most of the time. It was difficult to walk up a couple of steps without stopping to take a deep breath. So we put oxygen in. We said we were not going to do that, and we did that. So, in a sense, that was a failure. Very often people got the wrong end of the stick. They thought it was some kind of survivalist game, some kind of showpiece, some kind of, you know, do or die enterprise. It was very hard to get across the idea that it was an experiment. There's no such thing as success or failure in a scientific experiment. If something doesn't work and we figure out why it didn't work, then it's not a failure. <laughs>